In today's Catch and Cook, we're making a flathead fish pie. Stay tuned because the result is quite a surprise. Yep. Haha, <laughs> fish. All right. I slowed right down. Oh, it doesn't feel huge, but it doesn't feel like the smallest fish ever. Oh, not terrible size. It'll be legal for sure. All right. Yeah, that'll definitely be a legal fish. Oh, it's not too bad. I reckon that's probably around, I don't know, 33, 34. That's actually quite a good size eating fish. Perfect. Let's say, what size is this guy? What did I say? I said he was about 33, and he is. Oh, how about that? That was a pretty good guess. He's spot on 33, I'd say. Straighten him out. Yeah, he's spot on 33. <laughs> All right. Caught a few flathead, huh? Caught a few flathead. Actually, that flathead at 33 centimeters, that's, for me, that's the starting point where it's a fish that's worth keeping. Below that, there's just so little meat on them. And I really only take fish below that size, even though the legal size for flathead, I think is about 26 or something. What is it? Um, let's see, flathead except dusky. No, flathead dusky is 30. And 27. It's pretty small, 27 centimeter fish. I mean, there's just nothing on them. Once you get to 33, there's enough meat that it's worth keeping them. And throughout the rest of Australia, most, most of the country, the uh, legal size for all flathead species is, is 33. I don't know why we've got 27 here. It's, it just seems like such a waste. I'd rather let them go and hope that they get up to that 33 and then they're worth taking. Yep. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I wonder if you'll see that in the camera. I, I was not paying attention. Oh, he's gonna be borderline. Oh, I reckon he's gonna be, probably be one of those that's, that's legal size, but hardly worth keeping. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's tiny. He's tiny, but I bet he's gonna be close. It's just the way that the legal size here is so small. Okay. I mean, he's 29, almost 30 centimeters, but he's just microscopic, really. Okay. We'll hang on to him for now and hope that we get a little bit bigger one and put him back but I would like to get a cook in today, so I probably do need two fish. So he might, might just have to make up the numbers if we don't get anything bigger, but it does show you how small the legal size is in Victoria. I mean, it's just tiny. I mean, that fish was well and truly over legal. God, he's a small fish. All right, let's see if we can get his bigger brother. Well, only two small fish for today. It's a bit cold this time of year and the fish tend to be shut down. And this is the same result I got last time I came out. So we're gonna head in, uh, we'll do the cooking part, we'll have a nice lunch and I'll see you back at the house. So this is a recipe I've absolutely never ever done before. So this is a first time and a complete experiment. So I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. It looked reasonably simple and it had some really nice ingredients in it. So we're gonna give it a try and we'll find out how good it is. Now I've started, I've warmed up the oven uh, to 210. I've had that warming up for about a half an hour and I have just got the pan on the stove top and I've got that going. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a little bit of butter. Now I have taken this recipe and cut it in half because I only had a little bit of fish 
and it calls for about 700 grams of fish. I've had about half that. So I'm just gonna make a couple little plates for myself and my partner to try. And we're just gonna see how it turns out before we make a bigger dish. So we've got that pan warming up and we're gonna add the butter to the pan. Just get that to melt in the bottom of the pan. We're gonna add the leek. All we want to do is just soften that leek. Now we want to add the flour to the pan. And just cook that over a medium heat. All right, that is softening up nicely. I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to add the fish stock and the lemon juice. Certainly smells delicious. Now we're going to add the cream. And we're going to salt and pepper to taste. I'm happy with that and I'm just going to add the fish now. That's just three centimeter cubed pieces of fish. Let's get that all combined. Now the recipe says that it will seem pretty dry at this point but the fish is going to release a lot of moisture into the mix and I can see that's actually happening already. Now I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese and the parsley. Just stir that up to get it combined and remove from heat. Now we're going to take our little ramekin dish, set it on the puff pastry and cut a circle around the outside, leaving probably a good uh, one and a half to two centimeters around the outside. Now we're going to do the inner circle. that. Now I'm just going to give that a quick mix, just get all that to combine again. Jeez, it smells good, I'll tell you what. And I'm just going to scoop it out of here and add it to the dish. if I'm going to have enough to actually do both of these. So I might have to bail out and just do the one. That's all right. I'll do the bigger one. Uh, the recipe actually called for using two one cuppers, but I didn't have two one cuppers. So I went with a bigger and a smaller one. All right, into the oven for 25 minutes we go. And through the magic of YouTube. And there it is. Now we had a couple little issues. The top was browning quicker than it was supposed to. Some of the liquid started spilling out the sides and it was smoking in the oven. I ended up turning the heat right back for the past or for the last sort of 10 minutes. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to be, but let's give it a go. Top looks good. Ooh. Definitely cheesy. That is nice. That is really nice. something completely different. It's a lot heavier and heartier than, than a normal fish dish. It's sort of almost like a winter fish dish, I would say. It's, yeah, there's, I don't know, there's a lot of comfort, the cheese in there, the leeks. It's a real, 
I would say it's a real winter fish dish. This is not something you'd want in the middle of summer, but uh, it's actually beautiful. Mm. I'm surprised at how good this is for a first go. I am very surprised. 